Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing an Auntie haul. I have not done an Auntie haul this month. I do not believe if I did, correct me, but I don't think I have. And there are a few things that I've seen on Trend Moods page that are launching that I'm just like, thanks, no thanks. So if you guys are excited to see what I'm not going to be buying and why, then go ahead and keep watching. So I'm going to put pictures up here so you guys can see them. Basically like screenshots of what I'm not buying as I'm going through. So the first thing is going to be the ColourPop and Malibu Barbie collab. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wasn't a big fan of Barbie when I was little, so I'm just not here for it. The highlighter looks real weird and the palette is just kind of like, mmm, meh. And what are you gonna do with that little mirror? And the lipsticks look really cheap, I'm not gonna lie. They look really cheap, if I'm being honest. The next thing is going to be the MAC and Corella collection. I'm going to pass on that. I haven't really bought anything MAC cosmetics related in a very long time and I don't plan on it honestly. The palette, although this is more of a collector item, I can see it being more of a collector item. I just don't think that the palette is very user friendly. Like it's just like random ass colors thrown into the palette. Like if you look here, it's like a purple, a lavender, a black, a white, a red, an olive green, and then looks like a silver shimmer maybe and a light pink peachy color. It's just very abstract, which maybe that's their thing, but I'm just not, I'm not here for it. So then the next collab is going to be the Hip Dot and Clueless collection. While I did love the movie, I was not a big clueless fanatic and I just find that palette to be I don't like it at all. I do not at all. And I'm pretty certain the like the face palette or like they're this thin. The the each color like the blush, the highlighter, the bronzer are this thin. I cannot tolerate that whatsoever because I don't have any face brushes that are this small that are going to fit in there. So I wind up getting like highlighter on my bronzer, highlighter on my blush. So I'm just not about it and I'm out. So the next thing on my auntie haul list is the Nima and Dose of Colors lip collections. She has a dark brown one and a burnt orange one. And I believe it's Nima. N-Y-M-A. I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm not. But it comes with a lip liner, a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a liquid lipstick. I just don't really care for ColourPop stuff. I haven't really bought anything from them in a very long time. So it just doesn't jump out at me. While I do think that the colors are gorgeous and I love the choice, I just wish that maybe that would have been a fall choice. Because right now you're not getting a lot of people doing like burnt orange and dark brown situations. That's definitely something I would wear more in the fall. I'm not saying you can't if you wear those colors in the summertime. That's fine too. But I just think that she would have maybe gotten more of a wave. The new Natasha and Denona palette, the Zendo palette, I believe is what it's called. Just, they are so expensive and it's hit or miss. Like I've seen some palettes where people adore them. I love the Biba palette that I have, but I don't know that I would go out of my way to spend $129 on a palette that may or may not be good formula. I know that I see a lot of people complaining about some of them, like the tropical one, whatever that one was. And then there was a purplish wine people didn't like that one so I'm just like mm. and there's nothing that really stands out I will say that my Biba palette is so good and the colors and the formula are so good but just I don't I'm not gonna risk it I'm not gonna do it and then Urban Decay is coming out with a Urban Decay and Prince collab um I think that if you love Prince you're going to get this collection solely because of that and you're gonna have it as a collector piece. I don't find any of the colors in that palette to be something I care for. It's way too cool toned in my opinion for me. So I'm gonna pass on that one altogether and I don't like the palette itself. I don't like how it's put together. So no thanks. Morphe came out with another Coca-Cola palette, which I was kind of like thinking about getting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I was on the fence. And then I saw some of these photos from like real people and not just Tread Mood and Morphe. And I was just like, ooh, it's like the Morphe 1971 collection or something like that. The colors are just not for me. They're not for me. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass Morphe. I think I'm gonna say Colourpop, but it's Morphe. 
So the next thing that I have here is the Summer Fridays Glowing Body Oil. While I think that a lot of people are gonna love that, I don't find it realistic for me to buy because if I'm out at the pool or enjoying my time, I'm usually with my children. Two, I don't need to be slippery and oily trying to chase a one-year-old around. And three, I'm just gonna get in the water and wash it off anyways. So it's just not for me. And also body oil can be really, really dangerous in the sun. So just keep that in mind. You're basically attracting the sun to the oil to cook it so I know like people are like oh look how tan this oil got me it literally cooked your skin so just you know you can do whatever you want I'm not telling you what to do I'm just saying be careful is all I'm saying because putting oil on your skin in the summertime can be really really tight rope you're crossing walking crossing walking I don't know I need to stop trying to say phrases I don't know anything about <laughs> so the next thing I thought I had touched about this in a video it might have been my highlighter collection video I'm not certain is the glow obsessions by Huda Beauty I do not plan on buying them it is a quad highlighter palette they come in three different shades or three different range of shades and you get four different highlighters I only say that I'm gonna pass because I, I know that these are probably amazing but I just already don't use the highlighter palettes I have from her brand so I'm not gonna buy more to just not use them so if you guys like them and you think they're really worth it then let me know and maybe I'll get one but I just don't have any need or want to buy them so the next one is the Christian Louboutin palettes I get kind of cringed out when extremely luxury brands make makeup because most of the time if I'm being transparent and honest as a influencer to my people it's trash. Usually it's 110% trash and those who are forcing it on you are those who are probably getting paid or benefit from it. I'm just gonna say that and you can come for me if you want to but usually luxury brand makeup is garbage and I know that because I've bought it. I have bought it and I have regretted it and I'm here to tell you save your money it's not worth it. Now if you want a cute collector thing you can set up on your te your desk or whatever that's gonna be for you but it's gonna be a very expensive collector piece however I just don't mm -mm. so they have three face palettes and an, uh, three different eyeshadow palettes I wonder how much they are because she doesn't have any prices on here I'm gonna do some searching hold on I had gotten one of their lipsticks the one that come in like that little pointy and I put that lipstick on and literally within 30 minutes of my day it was gone it had faded off so I just whew, I can't stand when people push luxury brands just because for me it's 110 percent not worth it and it's usually garbage oh I'm reading the comments and it looks like someone in Asia had received the PR okay so it's not even like a like a new new thing either way I'm not buying it uh I had <laughs> I had really wanted to try the Gucci foundation but a lot of people had said they really really enjoyed the foundation I think the foundation is like I'm gonna say between 55 and 60 dollars I could be wrong it could be more it could be less but it's extremely expensive and I wound up not getting it and the reason I say that is not because like I don't want to get it I do want to get it and if I do get it it will probably be the same situation as my Giorgio Armani things my La Mer things they are not things that I recommend to my viewers and the reason I say that is because it's not worth it usually like my Giorgio Armani foundation I absolutely loved but you can 110% find a different and better foundation for less than 50 some dollars so I would never recommend that to you guys unless it's something like you wanted to just like treat yourself with but other than that I don't want to push expensive products that I don't feel are worth what they are you know it can be a good product and that's fine but if there's something better then that's what I'm gonna tell you guys to get so I don't really I don't go for the luxury brand makeup just because to me I feel like it's just very it's unreasonable and it's usually not that good so and then the last item I have for my anti haul is the KVD liquid blushes um no <laughs> and I'm pretty certain last month or like a month ago when I did an anti haul these might these not these were in it but the ColourPop had them and NYX had them like serum blushes or something like that so these are right down that alley of no thanks thanks no thanks um I don't want them so I just don't like 
I like a cream blush, like cream in, a, in like the ColourPop one. So they're not powder, but it's like a thick pressed cream. I do not like liquid <laughs> blushes. I think it's too crazy. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. If you guys really like them, let me know your thoughts. But I just find that I feel like it's going to be sticky. Like every time, like, does it dry down to a powder? Are they sticky? What's this? What's the deal? Like they look like lip glosses when I'm looking at the swatches on Trend Mood's page. They want 110% look like freaking lip glosses and I'm just not here for it at all whatsoever. So I'm gonna pass on the squeezy tube blushes. So if you're new here, basically I go on a Trend Mood's page and I scroll through and tell you guys things I'm not buying. Uh, but I didn't see like a lot. I mean, I saw a lot of things that I'm probably gonna buy, like the Aerial Brushes and Morphe Collab. Um, but like there was just not a lot like it's just repetitive posts of the same new things launching i feel like maybe the makeup world is slowing the freak down which would be nice uh but it's just not a lot of things that i saw so if you guys have something that you are buying currently on my auntie haul list always leave it down below and tell me why you think i too should buy it and as always guys i love you make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do new videos every single week if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me and i will see you on the next one bye